The Witcher show has proven to be one of the most successful video game adaptations when it comes to the numbers that it pulled for Netflix. It's still one of Netflix's most successful shows, and it was successful enough that it even elevated Witcher 3 sales, which peaked more than it did at launch back in December of 2019 when it reached an all-time peak of 103 over 103,000 players according to Steam charts which highlights just how big The Witcher has gotten after the video games became famous which made the show really popular which in turn made the games popular all over again and it became this vicious cycle of people being hyped about Witcher and Henry Cavill being on board as Geralt of Rivia certainly helped you know he's a beloved actor and in the gaming community because he's such a big gamer and is a genuine fan of the Witcher games and he's into Warhammer and we saw him build you know this his own PC gaming rig and everything I mean you know he's just uh, someone that uh, has a really just good standing in many communities. Which is why it comes as a bit of tragic news that Henry Cavill will no longer be returning as Geralt of Rivia for season four of The Witcher Netflix show, as announced by the official Witcher Twitter page. It's official, The Witcher is returning for season four, and Henry Cavill will be handing his swords to Liam Hensworth as the new Geralt of Rivia after Season 3. Welcome to the Witcher family, Liam Hemsworth. Now look, I for one have nothing against Liam Hemsworth. It's not like he set out to steal the role from Henry Cavill. It seems to me that Henry Cavill, for some reason, decided to turn the role down, and it was gonna go to someone. It went to Liam. You know, I do wish him the best of luck. I hope that his interpretation of the character is compelling enough that, you know, people can become attached to what is gonna be a, a new version of Geralt, but it's hard to deny that you know, Henry Cavill was a big part of why a lot of people watched the Witcher Netflix show, what he brought to the character, and just the passion that he had for the series. And beyond that, he, like, looked the part, and he played the part really well. He was just an ideal casting for Geralt of Rivia, which is why if you scroll down through the comment section of this tweet, you'll find plenty of people baffled, a lot of peers saying what, uh, you know, just uh, faces expressing... Um, disapproval essentially or just people expressing god damn it fuck this sucks so uh this has been the general uh discussion and discourse surrounding this people are generally just not happy about this news and i imagine that liam uh, is not having a particularly good day on social media no doubt a lot of um sort of misguided hate is being directed towards him even though yeah he's just you know, replacing the actor who was just not going to return. There are certainly arguments to be made as to whether Liam Hensworth truly was the best alternative casting after Henry's departure, but I suppose only time will tell how he does when season four comes out and we see Liam in action. Someone did plaster Liam's face onto uh, Henry Cavill's Geralt to kind of get an idea for what he could potentially look like. So I don't know. Uh, I guess this is one potential peek into a Liam Hemsworth version of Geralt. And yeah, you know, it's just not quite the same, but again, I'll hold out judgment until I see Liam in action, but there are plenty of sentiments out there, like The Witcher Netflix show was a mediocre to passable adaptation of the short stories and novels, but one of the only things that made it worth watching was Henry Cavill. So from a PR standpoint, there's a huge blow to The Witcher Netflix show. Now, Henry Cavill did provide a statement on Instagram where he, you know, wished Liam the best. He said some news to share from the continent. My journey as Geralt of Rivia has been filled with both monsters and adventures, and alas, I'll be laying down my medallion and my swords for season four. In my stead, the fantastic Mr. Liam Hensworth will be taking up the mantle of the White Wolf. As with uh, the greatest of literary characters, I pass the torch with reverence for the time spent embodying Geralt and enthusiasm to see Liam's take on this most fascinating and nuanced of men. Liam Gitzer, this character has such a wonderful depth to him. Enjoy diving in and seeing what you can find. So, you know, Henry Cavill, you know, being the good human that he is, you know, he's being very graceful about this. And Liam Hensworth himself did put out his own statement as a Witcher fan. I'm over the moon about the opportunity to play Geralt of Rivia. Henry Cavill has been an incredible Geralt, and I'm honored that he's handing me the reins and allowing me to take up the White Wolf's blades for the next chapter of his adventure. Henry, I've been a fan of yours for years and was inspired by what you brought to this beloved character. I may have some big boots to fill, but I'm truly excited to be stepping into the Witcher world. Again, I wish him the best. We'll see what happens. But um, 
this is going to be a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people still. Now, there's no official statement as to why Henry Cavill will be stepping down from the role. One major factor might have to do with the fact that Henry Cavill has confirmed that he is returning as Superman, as Clark Kent. There are certainly things in the work with Superman right now as far as the DC Cinematic Universe is concerned, and no doubt these projects are going to keep Henry Cavill busy, so potential scheduling conflicts and the time commitment required to do both Witcher and Superman might have been a major factor in why Henry Cavill had to just choose one. Again, no official statement. This is very much speculation territory. And then there's this other theory that fans and pundits have been discussing that speculates Henry Cavill might not have been creatively fulfilled by the direction of the Witcher Netflix show. Here's one Twitter user who garnered over 82,000 likes and tweeted a series of images showing quotes from interviews. And he said, Henry Cavill has been fighting the showrunners for years and it looks like he finally gave up his fight. The attached images are screenshots from a Hollywood Reporter interview with showrunner Lauren S. Hisrich. She said at the time, a lot of the notes he was sending to me that Henry Cavill was sending to the showrunner were about Geralt's dialogue. Could he first of all say more? And then Hisrich continued with this next quote, everybody came out of season one laughing and loving Geralt's fuming, but Henry was saying that when you read the books, you spend a lot of time in Geralt's head. So how can we put that on the page? And then the rest of the images highlight some quotes from Henry Cavill himself, who said that the toughest part for me was finding that balance between the showrunner's vision and my love for the books and trying to bring that Geralt to the showrunner's vision. It's about treading a fine line there. It's a showrunner story, so it's an adaptation. The tricky bit for me was finding Geralt from the book's place within that and being able to serve both as much as I could. Here's another quote worth highlighting. The things that I pushed for was not necessarily just more dialogue. It was bringing a more book accurate Geralt to the screen because as I'm sure you know, in the books, Geralt is an amateur philosopher. He's an intellectual, he's wise and thoughtful. Yes, he's at times morose, morbid and snarky, but it's important for me to have the character be three-dimensional. And then last but not least, and it's tricky to do, as I was saying earlier, because there is a certain vision and there is a certain set storyline and plot. And so it was about me trying to find Geralt's place within that. All of my asks and requests were along the lines of just being faithful to the source material. Another Twitter user highlighted something similar with these series of images that show some of the articles that may indicate some breadcrumbs that could point to why Henry Cavill might have decided to step down from the role. This Twitter user believes that there is no way that Witcher Netflix didn't see this coming. They knew how Henry felt. He was open about it, and they decided they didn't care. And looking at the headlines of the attached images, you'll find things like Henry Cavill has one condition to continuing as the Witcher, and that one condition, as conveyed by numerous reports and articles back in December of 2021, was that Henry Cavill wants The Witcher Season 3 to be true to the books. I'm a huge fan of staying loyal to them he said at the time. And then that narrative was pushed further when people noted a recent headline, a former Witcher writer recalls staff actively mocking the source material. Bo DeMeo shed a light on some of the lack of respect towards the Witcher source material noticed by diehard fans in the show. Here's one more Twitter user, Michael, who tweeted Henry Cavill's one condition wasn't met, and now the walking Witcher encyclopedia, Henry Cavill, who's a big fan of the show, is done. And the images that he posted include headlines like Henry Cavill is absolutely committed to the Witcher seven season plan on one condition that again there be some level of accuracy to the legacy of the Witcher novels. Henry Cavill's exact quote on that one condition reads as long as we can keep telling great stories which honor author Andre Sapkowski's work. And when you pair that with headlines like former producer claims some writers actively disliked the books and games, it's no wonder that such speculations and such theories are becoming so prominent and why people believe this is the reason that Henry Cavill didn't choose to return. Back in December of 2001, Henry Cavill even spoke about his hopes for season three of The Witcher show when speaking during Netflix Geeked which hosted a spoiler-filled The Witcher Unlocked conversation. He said that he hopes season three is loyal to the books without too much in the way of diversions. And perhaps Henry's departure is indicative that season three also deviates enough from the source material that he might have not been creatively fulfilled by the direction of the show. Right now, you can go on the internet and find people pointing out major differences between the novels and the show. Right here, we have a Reddit post Screw it, I decided to compile a list of every change between Season 2 and Blood of Elves. 
this has garnered over 15,000 upvotes and you can see right here that uh, the differences are plenty you can really scroll down and find uh, plenty of notes about those differences and for purists of the Witcher novels you know they were not pleased by that direction here's one reddit user who said glad he left to be honest referring to Henry Cavill's departure you can't blame him after what they did in season two Henry is finally free this Reddit user claims. But on the other side of the fence, you got new fans of Witcher saying it's okay that the Witcher show is different because the games are also very different from the novels. It doesn't have to be a direct adaptation of the novels. The novels can be its own thing. The show can be its own thing. The Witcher games can be its own thing. Book purists are hurting the experience for new fans, claims this Reddit user. So there are certainly varying opinions about the show, but Henry Cavill specifically did insinuate numerous times publicly that he's more of a fan of staying as close and as true to the source material and the novels as possible. And recent headlines seem to indicate that the showrunners wanted to do their own thing with The Witcher IP. And so, again, this is all ultimately speculation. There's no official statement or official confirmation. But I can certainly see why fans are leaning towards a the theory that Henry Cavill just wasn't happy with how the show was being handled. But I don't know for sure. And who knows, maybe it's a combination of both the fact that he was offered to return as Superman and the fact that he wasn't, you know, quite fully on board with The Witcher show's direction. Maybe he would have done season four if he hadn't been offered to return as Superman. But now that he was forced to choose between Superman and Geralt, assuming that it's true that he could only fully commit to one or the other, he was put between a rock and a hard place. And he had to pick the work that maybe he felt he would be most creatively fulfilled by. And that would be Superman because maybe The Witcher show was deviating so much from the source material. Maybe that's another potential speculation. That's a combination of, you know, these two factors that is being put forward. Whatever the case, we don't know for sure. But this is the reality of the situation. Liam Hensworth is taking over. And I don't get the sense that that'll do very well for the show unless Liam ends up impressing enough that people go you know what maybe we judge you too harshly and maybe uh, this is worth sticking around for if Liam ends up delivering a performance that's uh, compelling enough for people to give future seasons a go but we'll see what happens until then this is everything we know about the current situation let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on Henry Cavill leaving the role of Geralt of Rivia behind and Liam Hensworth being the new Geralt and him taking over are you holding out before you see Liam in action before judging or are you in the camp of nah this is this is where I draw the line Henry Cavill leaving means that uh, the show has lost its luster and I'm no longer interested in it. Share your thoughts in the comments below and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.